Edge. Edge. Have you ever been on an edging streak? Edge. Edge. Do they keep you in a state of edging? Edge. Edge. When you're not performing your edging, do they make you goon? Edge. Edge. Riz. Riz. What's it like to hold the yacht of someone you love? Riz. Riz. Do they teach you how to feel sigma to sigma? Riz. Riz. Do you long for having your heart rizzed? Riz. Riz. Do you dream about being rizzed? Riz. Baby Gronk rizzed up Libby Dunn. Riz. Riz. Do you feel that there's a part of you that's skibbity? Riz. Riz. Skibbity edge riz. Skibbity edge riz. The internet. A hive of an infinite amount of topics, subjects, and material. In the day to day, we use it for work, research, buying things that are absolutely essential. 300 black men for only two pounds. And the most important, entertainment. It's the most remarkable part of the internet. It's what gives it its zany personality. Whether we're playing a video game on our GS5 or watching a quality movie on Netflix, we amuse ourselves with what are supposed to be a short distraction into an all day activity, if you can even call it that. Like, you didn't mean to binge every Steve Harvey episode of Family Feud with each episode trying to figure out whether his mustache is real or not for the past two months only to give up because the diaper rash has gotten a little too itchy. It just kind of happened. Scenarios like this and scrolling makes time feel non-existent. Each minute just bleeds into the next. And at some point, you just do it for so long, you can't figure out if you even enjoy what you're doing anymore. You just been doing it every day at this point, and you don't want to miss out on what everyone else is talking about. This is what scrolling feels like for me, as if I'm riding my brain in real time. And it doesn't help that shit like this is frequently popping up on my FYPs. Like, this is pure it's brain mashed potatoes. Like brain rot is used to define media that has close to no artistic meaning, value, or purpose. It just exists to make people go, huh? Oh. Not that media needs to have a deeper meaning to not be considered brain rot. You'll know rot when you see it. Now, brain rot content has existed for many decades before even these memes existed in many different forms. Like, people used to think Cookie Clicker was a fun pastime, but the rot nowadays is different. The brain mush from back then at least would try to disguise itself as something that might be good for people. Like, hmm, maybe watching TLC would make me more educated. But nah, this rot hit different. As if it's unapologetically yelling, yes, I am rot, and proud of it. Not to say all brain rot memes or content is bad. I actually feel quite the opposite for some of them. A decent number of these at least make me chuckle. Especially back in the YouTube poop and MLG days. They need to teach this at school. I can say the same for some of the newer ones since I know a good chunk of them are ironic and satire. But only some. A human can take so much. It makes me feel I'm going crazy the more I watch these. Like some of these videos make me think it's meant for a sleeper agent out there and not for me. Like a secret government agent sees the video and now he has to go on an assassination mission. I swear, I try to understand and relate to these memes so I can be hip with the kids nowadays, but it just don't make no sense. There's no rhyme or reason for any of this. It's just... <laughs> Sorry. It's dumb. How does anyone find any of this funny? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, not gonna lie. Uh, some of this is kind of funny. <laughs> Nene, nah, nah, before you get a whoop, let's get it. Uh, Baka Skibbity Toilet. One piece Fortnite from Ohio, W. Riz the Ice Cream. Nene, before you get a whoop. Nene, before you get a Anyways, my apologies. I could not hold in my laughter. And in conclusion, mmm, mmm. This tastes really good.